Art. We see it every day, we pass by it without even realizing it. It's what we see, what we hear, what we share, what we create. But what is art? Concretely, art is defined as the expression and application of human creative skill and imagination. When we think about historically praised and scholarly embraced pieces of art, we often think about worldwide known paintings and sculptures that are at the summum of what is categorized as being the fine arts. But art can be anything, from the movie you saw last week to the graffiti you pass by to go to work. It is a work that is produced to be appreciated, not only for its beauty, but also for its message and sometimes emotional power. Art makes us think, makes us remember, and makes us feel. It allows us to discover and to share, it starts conversation and debates, and it breaks the barrier of time and creates a bond. So, art can be any form of manifestation of one's creativity, talent, or imagination. But why is art so significantly important in the world we live in? Well, among many other things, it allows people to transpose a feeling or an impression of a particular time and place. And this impression, despite its time frame, will still be relevant later on down the road. For instance, we can look at Picasso's work called Guernica. Painted as a response to the bombings of a small country village of the same name, this large mural painted in 1937 depicts the violence and chaos caused during the Spanish Civil War. This piece of art is the epitome of representation of war's aftermath and the suffering and pain it causes. Sure, it represents a very specific event at a very specific time, but its takeaway is applicable to anyone who has experienced conflict and its consequences. This piece of art is relevant beyond its time frame and still very relevant as war is not a foreign concept nowadays. In a sense, art is a tool to reflect and to offer us insight into others' minds. It can project us into things we would never have previously or later experienced. It is a free expression of the human mind and of people's senses. It also helps us have some insight into our own minds and gives us new arguments to add or change our opinions. Art is experienced different, differently by every single individual and therefore it is crucial that it is shared. It makes us think. It makes us question. Has anyone ever watched The Matrix and not wondered, well, what is reality then? Or is there such a thing as luck? Or are we all predestined to accomplish something? Or how many times have we seen a fictional character, either it be from a television show, a film, a comic or a book, do or say something and it made us wonder if in that situation we would have done the same? Art is an indirect form of communication. It usually conveys a message whether that be intentional or not, and it is bound to make people reflect and want to share with others to see if they have the same opinions. Art expresses something specific that the artist had in mind and could or could not have an impact on someone. It can be relatable or not at all. But whether a work changed your life or the lack of meaning left you completely empty, there will always be something to be discussed and a particular piece will always leave behind some kind of impression. But art can be even more than that. It can be politically and socially engaging. For instance, those politicians' caricatures that we often come across are created by artists that feel like they have something to denounce and uncover. Street artists such as Banksy, Roa, Spy, and Blue are exposing their minds about social problems in their own way, one wall at a time. Their art goes way beyond its beautiful colors. It is meant to make us stop and take a look at it, to think about it and to contemplate our own lives and what we choose to follow. Growing up and thinking about art, one specific thing would come to mind. A scene from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a classic from the 1980s, directed by the late John Hughes. Ferris and his two best friends Cameron and Sloan escape school in order to spend the day in the city. At some point, they go to the Chicago Art Institute and spend the afternoon contemplating various different pieces. Cameron ends up staring at a specific painting of a mother and her daughter. The film shows several shots of him looking deeper and deeper into the painting, just as the camera starts to focus deeper and deeper into his face. Hughes himself commented on the scene, saying that the more Cameron seems to look at the painting, the less he sees. This in a way reflects the vulnerability of the character, because he is afraid that the more people will look into him, the more they are likely to believe there is nothing to be seen. 
The truth is that art is art in its simplest form, whether that be paint or marble or film or thread. We, the audience, the viewers, the watchers, are the ones who give it a meaning. No two people will look at the same piece of art and have the exact same thoughts about it because its impact is directly linked with one's personal experience. Picasso said it himself about Guernica, the bull is a bull and the horse is a horse. The meanings given to his painting may be fitting and the intention might have crossed his mind, but he simply produced the painting for the sake of art. And that is exactly why art is important, because it opens our single street vision into a broader infinite because one piece can mean so much to some and so little to others, because it teaches us about the world and others and about ourselves.